I um I've lost my glasses. <laughs> They're in the house. Uh also I'm a little bit a little bit stoned, a little bit been drinking, right? But I've opened up onto Facebook and I thought actually this is something that I need to say on my channel too. Because this is what I'm ultimately about, do you know what I mean? I'm not about all of this, you know, like the new shit, Tommy Robinson, Hugh Edwards. And I do those videos, but that's not who I am. Ultimately, that's not what I do. So I uh, just shared this meme and it's a picture of Ricky, Ricky Gervais. And it says, if facts hurt your feeling, no, let's say that again from the beginning but do it right if facts hurt your feelings you need new feelings not new facts because you can't change facts they're just there right and I went off on a little bit of a rant because like I said I don't, I don't smoke and whatever um so I just thought I'd just read this I'll probably pip in a bit I don't know um, we're projecting our personal woes in totally the wrong direction, should have said impo of. We're all higgledy-piggledy, finding someone to blame for anything and everything, but we don't look inward and we, this is, and I didn't realise until I saw this meme and this cat, I'm quite proud of myself anyways, right? We've been, <laughs> and the award for up your own arms uh, goes to Gary Lineker, to be fair. But uh, we better fucking... <laughs> right, sorry. I will try to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. Also, disclaimers, these are my thoughts and opinions only. And also, I swear, just so that we know, I don't script anything, even though I'm reading, reading something now. But... You know, I just fly by the seat in my pants. And if you like that, please like and subscribe and share and shit like that because we're mates, right? Um, right, we're prepared not to look inward from the age of four earlier if you have religious parents. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. We don't know. We, you know, like you have to knock on somebody's door and give them religion, right? Everything good or bad is attributable to someone else, fictional or non-fictional. Now, I'm not doing these... Anyways, right. It's... Bad things happen... Ha bad thing happens. It's Satan's fault. Good thing happens. And it's God ble God's blessing. And you can't say I'm wrong on that because literally I've seen hundreds of Christians do this. By the grace of God, this happened. It's like, yeah, but if you'd not put yourself in that situation. And also, if this person had not come... Like, we can say anything for anything, but if it's like, oh, my God, you know, like I got my coat uh, or my jeans buckle thing caught on the door hanger, door handles I was going through, Satan was at work. No, you were angry. You were probably angry in that position. That's in, called instant karma, right? Um, like, I ain't against God. Don't like, I know I'm sounding all fucking no age here and everything, but trust me, I'm on. To, <laughs> right? Did either of those invisible entities rob Walmart, mate? No, that was you. It didn't happen as a lesson for you to learn from and tread the good path from now on. It happened because you were a dick and got caught and got, had the shit scared out of you, and um, not in every occasion, obviously. Sometimes miracles do happen. Right? Still not saying it's God. Right? Uh, it's the universe. Spoilers. <laughs> um, should have said spoilers first. Um, the government do not and never will work for your benefit, ever. You have watched your world crumble around you and still you don't see because you've not gone within. Like, we're bred. Everything is on the outside. Everything is somebody else's job. Even saving us is somebody else's job. And we're bred into that mindset with school, not through school. School is designed to do them. Am I allowed to say this? This will probably get taken down in seven years' time by the thought police. Like, who knows? Uh, hopefully it lasts that long. 
please feel free to download it if you have a uh, premium. Um, because you never do know it this minute. The world's gone nuts anyway. Um, da, 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 da. right. This is where I got into the nitty gritty, right? And I just was. <laughs> I'm a trained typist, and thank fuck I did that when I came out of school at the age of 15, right? Because I just sit there and I just type and I just go inside my own head and just fucking write shit. Anyway, tell me I'm wrong on this, if you will. But only if you have a decent knowledge. Don't tell me if you're not in, you know, if you don't get it. Um, right, so going within. It's a totally free exercise and it requires no special equipment or equipment or special setting. Zero pennies required. It is completely and utterly free. Just close your eyes and ask questions in your head. So it's like, you know, imagine me, this is inside my head. It's just like, right, okay, is this bullshit? Is this right? But ask something specific, right? Um, don't go like, oh, the answer's to, well, you can do. But they'll come back in higgledy piggledy fashion. In fact, you might, if you open yourself up, get higgledy piggledy fashion. Go, trust me, this is what happened to me in 2008. Oh, uh, trust me. Like, well, you have no reason to trust me. Don't trust me. Ignore the fact that I said trust me, because people who say trust me, well, not people who say trust me, just those very words indicate that you probably shouldn't trust Just close your eyes and ask questions in your head. That's it. Just ask in the black blackness of nothing, preferably at sleep time or wake up time. So like literally as you go into bed and you're just settling down, just ask questions in your head. And when you wake up, first wake up in the morning, they're, they're the bridges of gap in reality between the other dimension and the waking dimension type thing. These bastards know this. I have to get them in there. These bastards were left with these secrets. Like, believe me or not, but trust me, they know. <laughs> um, right, where were I? Uh, sleep time or wake up time to help you want to understand. Oh, and keep your mind open to the signs and signals that you get. The answers don't come written on a piece of paper. Like, literally, if you're going to endeavour on it, this... And like I say, it's completely free. You believe it's what I did <laughs> back in two thousand and seven when I put myself on this experiment. It's literally what I did, and I can tell you for a fact that it fucking works. But like I have so many tales. I learned to swim in my dreams. <laughs> so many tales, but yeah, you know, like this whole thing. You know, like the people, the runners are bad people and we're good people and we're actually more powerful than them. And uh, if I've left anything out, then I'm sorry, but I'm, oh my God. Oh, I thought it said it was 32 minutes, then it's eight minutes. Cracking. Um, thank you for being there. So sorry that I'm, but I had to do it now. You understand I had to do it now while I was thinking it, right? Um Thank you for being here. Please come back if you want to. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Never forget, I love you all. But I love you all. And Carolyn. See. Oh, but no, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again because I tainted it with a little bit of poison. Never forget that I love you all. Bye.